morning how are you i'm good welcome to another vlog it is a day in the life of a young professional it looks very gloomy outside very cold i'm not sure what is going on day in the life of a young accounting professional so spend the day with me as i go to work i barely do do this but if you're interested in this series i have already started it which is called the day in the life of a young professional i have done shorts so if you're interested in that then you can definitely watch my shorts and i also do have some vlogs on tiktok that you can watch but sometimes i just feel like incorporating a long youtube video not sure if you would enjoy this but if you did enjoy this please do let me me know that i may be consistent in maybe just posting this and just giving you a glimpse um of what a nice day looks like <laughs> yes a nice day what a nice day looks like but yeah i was on my way to work and this was just me using the highway i don't know why on this day we decided to use the highway because it's just i never use the highways or anything because i just know that the traffic to m1 north is just while well, the traffic on the m1 north is just an insane one so i always prefer not to use it or to stay away from the highway the traffic is just a lot and the last thing i need is to be late for work because i also need to start working early and just sending the necessary cash flows so that they could literally get the day rolling so i just can't start the day quite late i usually catch a how train to work but on my way to work i usually have reflective thoughts because it is the only time i have to get to think oh, i'm finally at work this is my otd i was wearing a coat as well I just arrived as you can see my bag and my lunch bag i'm about to go get seated i didn't book a desk Oof. it's like half past seven by the way am so i'm about to work and yeah but yeah i didn't book a desk i'm hoping no one's here anyways we'll try and see back to voice over level is the only time i get to actually think like have reflective thoughts because i am always so busy i am also a full-time student so life does life <laughs> okay life lives okay so yeah i'm just always busy but i think the time that i have on the road i just get filled with reflective thoughts and you know just truly filling my heart with so much gratitude that my life has turned out in a manner that it has but i usually take a walk to work and as i do that i have so many reflective thoughts i finally get to the office and i don't want i do want to say that a few years ago i think it was like a year and a half ago i used to binge watch youtube videos watching what people do for a living like a day in the life of a software engineer i still binge on that a lot day in the life of accountants people who are doing tax accounting financial accounting management accounting i always binge watch on those videos because i knew that my time was definitely going to come where i just truly take the industry off by storm so i always used to binge on those youtube videos when i was still unemployed every single day so i honestly do want to say that my heart has just been filled with so much gratitude from me being a little girl who's just unemployed while well, i'm still little by the way <laughs> who's just you know um who's just always been desiring to become a young professional and excel in the industry to fast forward to a year and a few months later i am just doing exceptionally well career-wise and i feel like i'm just also prioritizing my self-development and i do want to say that i'm full of so much gratitude because the way that my life has turned out was not the life that i had imagined for myself i think at some point i dreamt very low of me but when I started realigning myself with what God has ordained for me and becoming in agreement with him. My life surely took off like my life just took off. It really, really took off. And I think this is just the importance of always immersing yourself and aligning with the word of God over your life and being in agreement with him. Because I promise you, once you start being in alignment with him, grace flows. There's just an overflow of grace. There's an overflow of provision. Everything just truly works out well and so the one thing that i wish i had done very early in my life was to seek god earnestly at an early age but nonetheless 
the point is that my heart is filled with so much gratitude because little me could have never imagined myself being here anyways i was literally starting the day off with so much meetings i think i just truly have a very busy day uh, whether i work from home whether i work from work my days are just insane i also had a meeting on this day which i ended up not filming i did film it but i just decided not to put it in this vlog because there was a lot of confidential information that was shared we had a meeting with regards to our interim results that were released and you know what shout out to my team team one finance because it just truly takes so much time and i wish people truly understood how much work it takes um, a team to put together the financial statements even if we are not fully involved in the compilation of them but to get those figures to look the way that they do is because each and every single team has played their part. Every single person has put in the effort, sleepless nights, long hours continuously to get those numbers looking like that. It is not an easy thing when you read the financial statements. Just understand that behind those figures, there is a team of people who have not slept day or night and have worked incredibly long hours and sacrifices that they've made on weekends. The way that I live right now is just something that i've always envisioned for myself and that is the reason why when i started this vlog i just overly mentioned the part of me binging and watching what people do professionals because i knew that one day that would be me and here we have it okay but anyways um after that we just decided to have a work lunch so there was a company lunch happening to obviously celebrate this big milestone i feel like everything in life is a milestone and i feel like the more i grow the more i just truly realize that because time is of essence and the more i grow i just realize how sleep is a luxury and time is a luxury and the two of the biggest commodities ever after that got back to working spoke to my auditor friends which by the way i don't like auditors because they tend to harass me but, um it's just really nice to have friends who are in auditing who look out for you and are able to tip you when certain things happen so i was just having a conversation with one of my auditor friends we joined the company together at the very same time and it's just truly really been blissful ever since we do have times where we fight but but at the end of the day we are a team because even through the love of and the hate that we experience we are still a team and we work together quite well just truly had a catch-up session with him pretty much did not form that but because i'm also in accounting i don't have the time to socialize with everyone in the company unfortunately that is a con in my career you know you're not always going to be available to just talk and socialize because there is deadline lines and targets that need to be met and considering that during this time we also had stringent deadlines because um we were obviously preparing for an upcoming audit and also just truly needing to just reach targets each and every single time and obviously preparing for month end. it was really kind of busy went back to the office continued to work had some few meetings in between a few investigations to do in between and yeah eventually i decided to leave the office on this day i didn't really feel myself walking but i decided to leave the office and i've always been contemplating getting an ipad well the reason for me to get an ipad is because this year is my very first few months in ministry i say this all the time and i feel like just writing messages down to just minister them was just taking so much of my time because it would make everything so untidy having to rewrite it remove it rewrite it when god just gave me those divine deposits so i just took it upon myself to just pass by Santon city i've been looking into getting an ipad for a very long time and one thing about me when i want something it gives me sleepless nights i have to get it i went to i store didn't really feel much because i was also running late to get home i don't really like traveling home quite late but yeah i went to i store and i just was checking out a few ipads they I'm dedicating this ipad of mine that i got strictly for ministry it's just going to be for ministry purposes and i have to prepare a word whatever it is that is needed of me that i'm able to just do it quickly on my ipad and present it from there how oh, are no one's speaking to me till next year because <laughs> why do i spend my own money Yo, uh, uh, sana. <laughs> but it's just truly been tugging on my heart that i needed to get an ipad so i'm just truly grateful that god once again had afforded me that grace to be able to just wake up and get myself the things that i want hey 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 hey, hey. anyways i'm finally back home i need to continue working it's like let me check the time yo hey 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 I think now it's like yo i don't know what's going on anyways um 
i just come back from work i'm actually about to continue working right now it's like i think let me just look at the time yeah it's 22 um it's currently like 22 5 so yeah i just got home even i left office at like half past two and i just got home it's like 22 5 so getting him out of a fit let's just get this channel monetized in case i was taking him out yeah my phone vibrating if i can hear it surely you can hear it anyway point i actually wanted to do like a quick bible study right now but i don't have a ring light because i mean it's obviously getting dark and i i truly don't want to set up the tripod i want to i don't want to go through all of that so we'll have um i'll actually film like a proper bible study when i get the time to but anyways that's just a simple day in the life of a young professional i'm about to work now right now and i know i'm gonna knock off late i'm probably gonna knock off at like seven if not eight like i just know what i'm gonna knock off late so that is something that i know in is misel already i know it's gonna happen whether i like it or not um that is literally how my life is today the financial results were literally released and that is why you saw us in this big meeting um but yeah i think i just pretty much did i will i'll do a voice over because honestly i can't really do like a live vlog when i'm at work it's very difficult um because we also get a bit busy like quite a lot so i just could film what i can film but yeah anyways let's do a quick unboxing finally got my glasses from lens smart i did not get sponsored content i took this money out from my pocket and i went to go buy the glasses i did an eye test at the glen toga because spec said they were giving me problems they didn't want to give me and they didn't want me to do an eye test and also i needed contact lenses and they said they're not going to give me contact lenses because my glasses are expiring this month so they said they were not going to give me contact lenses until i get new glasses so I was like, you know what, I'm not, because already these glasses that I'm wearing two years ago, I spent like 10k on these glasses that I'm wearing as fix save. Understandable that the glasses are quality, but I can't keep paying this amount, guys. This amount that I keep paying for optometrists, I can't. And these are quasi sana, it's a lot. It is a lot, and it's not my fault that I cannot see. Okay. Okay, I just saw the first frame. But anyways, this is the first frame. Um that's honestly how the glasses look i'm so tired i need to see in 4k let's see inside honestly i didn't really take my time with picking these glasses out i can tell you that only because um i needed glasses asap like my glasses i can't see anymore like my glasses are done and it's august now so in jbenga is good to like my my glasses are done i definitely even specsafe sent me like an uh an sms good to go come renew your glasses and i was like undeasy so mid july i think right after my birthday i think middle yeah mid july probably on the 20 not even the 25th i'd be lying if i said that but before the 25th so after my birthday probably well my 17th before the 25th i ordered these glasses and i only received them today today is the 8th of august i didn't pay dhl because dhl wanted by the way all these amounts are in dollars so on their site so go on google and convert it yourself to see Guti, how much would it be in rent? So, including every single thing. So, what I can tell you is that I ordered glasses that have a blue ray thing. Uh, the blue ray is not as strong as these glasses that I can I have on for sure. That I can tell you for sure. But I'm, um, I, th I, you know what? Let's let's take out the glasses because <laughs> I'm gonna be speaking way too quickly. But the glasses look like that inside, and um, I actually got two pairs because I don't trust their frames. I don't know what the quality is with regards to their frames. I know that Specsafe has quality frames, and maybe that's why their glasses are so costly. Very much intact, if you can tell. So yeah. Out is born, eh? My sister says she wants the pictures, but anyways, I'm gonna show you two frames just in case because I didn't want to experience one frame that breaks and then I find myself panicking having to reorder frames because they the time period is long because when you order and you do not do it via dhl like your delivery can take 14 to 18 days so that is long having to obviously order glasses again so this is how the glasses look ah, so cute this is my first frame they look like that so cute um i did pay a lot of money 
when it came to them thinning the lenses on the side so i paid the premium price which is like 80 dollars so i paid i paid that price for both of them 80 dollars to get the last number thinning which i don't mind honestly because um this is how it looks um i don't mind doing that honestly because well this is my thickest side as you can see you can still see the lens there and this side well this side is fine my other eye is okay it's just that my one eye i can't really see that much as compared to these glasses the lens is not that much la a move i can't even see the camera to be honest so i'm hoping what i want to show you yeah vela i need to stop speaking back but guys today my my colleagues are like i'm a snob and they can't believe that i'm from soweto they're like no surely you're from santon you're probably one person who likes to people like i'm from santon and i'm like bro i tell everyone that i'm from soweto like i don't even lie about that like and like they're just like no it can't be because like you're bougie you're bougie hump. and i'm like is it my fault that i have a taste in expensive things is it my fault <laughs> hey me i have an expensive taste in things yo i and i think that is why i could never be with someone who would take me to poverty i'm so sorry i can't but anyways and like imagine it's like two five and i'm still going to work after this as soon as i end this vlog but anyway story for another day um this is how my glasses from Specsave look two years into it and you can see that obviously it's not that thick on the side so i guess maybe their thinning technique is great but also let's consider the fact that this small is a uh, th this frame is a smaller frame as compared to this one this is a bigger frame so so you know like but i don't think that they they thing is bad okay let's try it on let me show my sister first let me show her oh and by the way the glasses come with the glass wipe and it also comes with uh yo i can't see now it also comes with this i forgot what they call this thing it's not a ruler it's a oh gosh okay it is a ruler but there's a word for it man there's a word for it i forgot but hey i cannot believe i can see in 4k now because this morning i was so stressed like as i was traveling to work i was just like yo i can't wait for my glasses to freaking arrive so that i can see in 4k so if you do not pay the 1k delivery i do want to say that you delivery fee via dhl because if you do pay the 1k your glasses are they your glasses come to you within three days like three to five days if i'm not mistaken but if you do not pay that delivery fee you're gonna get your glasses within 14 to 18 days and i was like you know what because at that point i mean i already spent freaking 80 dollars times two so that's 160 dollars just on the thinning of these glasses excluding everything so excluding frame excluding gong exclu excluding oh blu-ray so yeah I, it's a lot i can't pay 1k on top of that hour oh, wow. right let's try the first frame i haven't seen the second frame as yet but please do feel free to tell oh i can already tell you that these glasses might not last <laughs> when you just open them they're very loose like you need to take care of them that's just I can see in 4K map. I was honestly so skeptical because a lot of people were like, Elan Smart, they get the prescription drug and stuff like that. It definitely is your optometrist, guys. And if you wear contacts, you can definitely tell when an optometrist has robbed you. The reason why I'm saying that is because I am a person who wears contacts and I could not I know from what the contact lenses are written, like from the box or the you know, each set of contacts, it shows you your eye what is the word i don't know i'm not an optometrist i don't have the terminology but what your lens size is or you get what i'm saying so it shows you from there if you wear contacts but obviously if you don't then it's tricky because when i move away when you might not even know it but this is how the first frame looks on me i'm not a girl of big frames but i saw with jenga lens but they don't really have like small frames so i don't know if i would recommend it for people who have like a very thick frame like that um thick lenses i know my lenses are thick as well don't feel otherwise i know my lenses are thick as well but for me one eye is not both of them um the one eye is fine the other one is thick as you can tell but yeah i think i look pretty <laughs> okay this is how the first frame looks like yo guys i can see in 4k now like now i can see clear i can see clearly and I'm so happy about that because way ma now on to the second frame the second frame 
on the outside it looks the same and then masesi vula oh gosh okay this one got it oh it's technically i ordered the same kind of frames but i didn't know i don't know bro like at this point i just needed glasses like i didn't even care about the frame like as long as i just got glasses like that's all i needed oh okay this is how my second frame looks this one the name is kojo k-o-g-o i think something like that i saw like one of the ladies one thing that i do recommend is maybe go on tiktok google frames um like on tiktok see people that bought from lensmart and see like the names that they bought like the kind of frames that they got and how it looks on them i figured for me that looks better than me checking myself on the site like i feel like even though you can insert a picture and see how glasses would technically look on you on the side but i just truly also feel like ah, it's, it's not it's not the one anyways um okay these ones i don't know what might have went wrong I feel like my glasses are just better to the first frame as opposed as compared to this one but uh this one i feel like it's more zoomed in i don't know if i see better with it i don't know but i feel like this one my eyes are gonna take time to adjust to it it's not that i can't see but i feel like it's more zoomed in as opposed to the other frame the other frame i didn't really feel much of a difference between my current script or i don't feel much of a difference between the scripts unlike this one this one i could tell would be like i'm wearing new glasses which they technically look the same anyways guys don't let optometrists scam you and i'm so sorry to actually advocate for this because i mean i know the bread is the bread but at the end of the day i mean i'm just speaking for myself and kulume linja bandabanini got a jam optometrist lately but you and i definitely know that you can find an affordable one but even the ones that are affordable they just miss it when it comes to the thinning of the lenses they just miss it utole with a good injury you get your glasses back e lens in gaga on the frame so one thing that i do appreciate is that even though the frames for these glasses are bigger than my current frame but they still got it right like they still got it right i don't think it's much of a difference this is the second frame i don't know which one i look better in to be honest i, I just realized that i kind of got similar frames like two of the same thing but yeah i got two frames for that so if one breaks at least i know that i have backup glasses rather than going through the stress because i'm surely not going to spec save i'm so sorry i'm not andy aposana <laughs> I don't have 15k because i know for sure that's the cost i mean if these were 10k two years ago imagine now they definitely probably gonna be even 16k i can't do it and these ningolele guys i'm so sorry and if you are a local optometrist you know and guys sorry guys but jay yeah, I don't think that these glasses are bad at all. I just really feel like I'm so happy now that I've seen 4K. Uh, uh, uh. But I get to be free. I think that's the problem. I don't feel that confident when it comes to the frame. Good in the frames are strong. So if these glasses fall, will the frame not break? In think I tame be get up. So these glasses, I definitely do believe that you need to be very delicate with them. Let us unbox my iPad. I need to start working. It's like ten past five, and I've just been talking. Let us unbox my new iPad. You gotta be kidding me i've been telling my sister i want a new ipad i need not a new ipad i don't have an ipad but i want an ipad my sister's been like no whatever but i'm just like dude you don't understand guys i cannot use my macbook for everything my macbook cannot even it doesn't even have space like it's so hard to even edit because my macbook doesn't even have space i do school work on it i do notes for church like if i'm gonna lead uh, lead prayer I write notes on my phone which automatically like go on my tablet fine but I do that on it I do school work and I still must send my content to edit it doesn't have that much space like it doesn't have that much memory like I feel like I bombarded because sometimes I'm just like why doesn't my MacBook like allow me to airdrop but I know what I specifically did 
so i just decided that you know what i'm gonna get a ipad because this one is strictly gonna be like for content creation so i feel like my macbook is just definitely gonna be like for school work and stuff and then um so that i just oh and also like i feel like it's so hard for me to just watch stuff as i work and as i study it's difficult because i'm using my macbook and also like studying i need two screens so like i discovered that long ago and i'm just like you know what i'm definitely going to get myself an ipad to make my life easy because one thing about me when i want something and i can't stop thinking about it i'm gonna get it like let's break the bank and get it we'll recover the money at some point like we will not go out and plus i haven't been going out to be honest i've been so busy like so busy the only time i could say that i go out like consistently is if i'm just busy with like church stuff and that's literally what i've been busy with lately but you going out like go boom i haven't went out in a while Welcome home, my babe. Anyways, I literally went to ice store right after work at Sentin City, as you would have seen, um, to go get myself a new. Let's see what it says, babes. Let's see what it says. A new iPad. I got it in blue because I truly love the blue. Um, I'm gonna order stuff on Take a Lot. So I wanna order the keyboard and the pen on Take a Lot. But yeah this is how the baby is looking and honestly in life i just feel like i should enjoy my money they tell me that a lot like enjoy your money before the kids come before you're in a committed relationship and to be honest fair child fair because anyways let us unbox as you say we are unboxing this quite quick quick in a hurry quick in a hurry ASMR, Mara, ASMR Riaka is too fast. The ASMR is fast because. <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, God is amazing. I feel like sometimes that's how I know that God wants me to get something for myself because He gives, like, I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm just like, you know what, dude? Break the bank. Yo, Tamayo Reka. Tamayo Yo Reka. Anyways. And I want to watch things in bed. So I also did get a bed table that I have not unboxed as yet. Like that's how busy I've been. Yo, I've been so busy. Let's stop. Let's stop with all of this. Let's just get to the point. <sighs> I've never smelled how a newborn baby smells like. But I love the feeling the same way that people love how new babies smell like. It's the same way I love how. Yeah. Anyways, let's tilt it over. Okay, so it comes with a C type charging head. I don't know, according to a Libisang adapter. Yeah, I think it's an adapter. And then it comes with the cable, same thing as an iPhone. I'm just so sad that it doesn't come with like earphones, nyana or something. What else? <laughs> now for the main straw, baby. Wanted to order this one on Take a Lot, but I was so skeptical. Yo, next thing it doesn't work, then what? Because also I don't know where Take a Lot gets the like stuff. Like, is it originals or Dony? And I, I wasn't gonna risk it. Like, I don't wanna lie. Even though it was cheaper and take a lot, but I wasn't gonna risk it. I don't wanna have something that doesn't work. And I hate really I care, so I wasn't gonna risk it, dude. I'm so sorry. La Lailer. La Lailer. La Lailer. Get in my mailer. Bona. Bona. I held the one in store and I was like, definitely a blue one is a beautiful. I'm not going to use this until I get a cover for it because oh, I can imagine if it just starts falling right now, I would cry. <laughs> I don't think I, I should use it until I get a cover for it. Ish, my sister's not here to set this up for me. I'm there by my sister. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, anyways, um, 
also um i got this like i said so that it's easy for me to also lead prayer so i want to write notes here and i'm also planning on like hosting bible study right here um it's not going to be a life i'm just going to record videos but the notes that i prepare so basically when i prepare for prayer and i know i've said this several times but when i'm asked to prepare prayer at church for the youth ministry we do that at 5 a.m so when i do that already i know that i'm leading prayer on the 22nd of august it's the 8th and i know i need to start preparing but the funny part about me is that god always wants me to minister his word when i'm going through something when i'm going through a rough patch like right now i've just been going through a lot doesn't look like it but anyways that is why sometimes you must just get yourself nice things to just appreciate yourself because if you don't truly really take care of yourself to that extent then it's never gonna happen oh well, i spoke a lot anyways just in case i didn't say it but um this tablet that i literally bought was is for me to just write notes whenever i'm asked to lead prayer and whenever i'm required to just minister god's word wherever he sends me I just really want to be able to just have a quick reference because I feel like for me it's so tiring writing down on a book because I write and scratch and write and scratch and write and scratch by the time I know it I've just been past three pages where I've been writing and scratching because there's something that pops up like you know when you're in a word it's like writing an essay and you've made a point and another point comes in when you are far and now you obviously can't edit that kind of thing so it happens to me a lot and i just got so tired of writing because i'm like yo i don't have the time for this like i don't have it so yeah that's why i just decided that you know what let me just start making notes on my phone but then on my phone like every single note that you see on the notepad where they like goals secrets on i promise you for me it's just scripture only or like a to-do list that is it it is just scripture so sometimes i feel like god speaks to me in random places like randomly so like i just always write down like on my notes on my phone all of that like you know because i just feel like god just speaks to me at random times me and my day in the life of a young professional this is not an everyday thing please i do not spoil myself every single day and I know like every single time, even on TikTok, when I'm just like doing the life of a young last time I went to Daniel Wellington and I just got myself a watch that I'm wearing right now. Um, I've always wanted this since I was in varsity, like since uni, I've always dreamt of like getting myself a TW. But I think what I'm just trying to say is that um, I'm just grateful to God because every single thing that I've always desired in life, like the little things, I'm a gadget woman. I think let me just put it like that. Very I'm a gadget woman. Even when I was at I store today I was just like your Osmo Pocket. I want that next. But that is me. Like that's what drives me. For other people it could be clothes. For other people it could be sneakers. For me it's gadgets. Like I love gadgets. Like I think my home I want it to be a smart home. Where I'm just like where I'm literally just like Siri or whoever. Whoever. Like where I'll be like Kyle. <laughs> Or whoever the name and just like Kyle open the bin Kyle open the door Kyle lock the garage like I want a spot home so yeah um that is me I'm a gadget girl and I'm just truly really hoping that I definitely work hard and I think that is obviously what drives me because I know that I have an expensive taste in things like very expensive and by God's grace like I'm able to do it all and me coming here is not me showing you that your money should not go to the most important things let's get that right your money should always go to the most important things what are the most important things taking care of your family tithing number one tithing is the first thing that you should be thinking about besides those debit orders you need to tithe jokes aside tithe um make sure that you also take care of people like when you see someone needing lunch or needing something buy that lunch for them because I promise you, just being stingy with money and being a hoarder of things is not going to take you far. You need to understand that when you live with people, you need to also embrace um, humility. Just embrace uh, living with people and all of that. But anyways, let me go back to work. Um, right now, it's probably like half past five. And it's, I know it's a holiday, but um, I'm going on study leave. So I'm not going to be here. Tomorrow's Women's Day, but I'm going on study leave and yeah
Yeah, I'm going on study leave, so um, I just truly really need to push my work and make sure that everything is done by tonight. So that I don't have the stress of catching up next week when I come back. Like if I have to catch up next week, let me catch up on the days of work that I was not there. Rather, the four days that I was not there, rather than having to find myself catching up for ten days. So yeah, uh, we've just wrapped up month end uh, at work. It's been a crazy week. I've been sleeping late this whole week. And that is why I think my eyes look so red. Like I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. Yo, I don't want to lie. I'm finished. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, that's just truly how the day in life goes, man. Just go to the office for important meetings. Um, and yeah, that's just truly how it goes. Um, yeah. So right now I'm actually going to eat. I haven't eaten since the small letter plate that I had. Um, God is good. <laughs> God is good. Um, but yeah man, I've just really also been going through a rough patch. Oh, like especially life wise, like everything. Um, and I know like most of the time when you tell people you're going through a lot automatically people think it's relationships Bro, there's a whole lot more that goes on in a person's life outside of that Like a whole lot of stress, worry, fear, all of it And I think above all, uh, I'm just really grateful to be able to just really do all these things I feel like God has just really stretched me this year But we'll speak about that once we do the year in reflection But this is a typical day in my life my everyday life as I am prophet is not always like this please bear that in mind if you follow me on tiktok you will see that my days are different it always seems like we're eating good food in the office it's not always the case um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog um if you want to see more days in my life please do check out my tiktok page because I post a whole lot more there um I just decided for a change that uh, I just decided for a change that you know what let me um for once in my life uh film a day in the life of a professional for once in my life because i barely do it on youtube so why not anyways i hope you enjoyed this vlog please get ready for bible study i think i'm just going to turn week of the anointed into that but i'm just i'm definitely going to start posting bible study here Let's get to know God together, very crucial. Let's be on this journey together. Let's grab our Bibles and, you know, be active in spirit and give God our best each and every single day. Show up as the best versions of ourselves each and every single day. And most importantly, build that intimacy with the Lord. Spend more time with Him, more time in His Word. I'd always advocate for that. But, yeah, that's all I could show you. Bye.